already call this a win because look at my beautiful baby right there. My baby, my baby. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, you're seeing this, right? These are Pokemon trading card game tins that we are going to be opening up today. I am mostly a Sailor Moon collector, but I do collect a little bit of Pokemon here and there, especially if I really like the Pokemon. And I really love Zacian and Zamazenta. So I wanted to collect these tins just for those characters. And I've got a special guest I want to introduce you guys to today. Uh, my husband, Kurt, is joining us for this episode. Hi, everybody. That's Kurt. <laughs> and he actually collects the Pokemon cards. So he benefits from me buying these tins too. He wanted the cards inside and I just wanted these tins with Zacian and Zamazenta on it. So Kurt is going to be joining us today to kind of help along with more of the Pokemon card collecting side of things since I don't collect Pokemon cards anymore. I did that way back in like middle school, but Kurt still collects them. So he's going to help us out. So Kurt, explain to us what these tins are called because they just came out on which day was that they came out on may 22nd this past friday and they are the legends of galar tins they are to be in association with the latest tcg booster packs the um, pokemon sword and shield rebel clash that sounds awesome and just look how beautiful these tins are how much did they retail kurt they are available at multiple locations but they should be about 24.98 to 24.99 and I remember Kurt was told me that they were going to be released. He's like, let's go to like Walmart and see if they got them in stock. And sure enough, Walmart had them out and we picked up one of each. Zamazenta looks so ready for battle and so awesome. And Kurt, you know about these cards a little bit more than I do. Uh, these, you said they are promo cards? Yes, they are promo cards. Okay, so these aren't, they're not a rare card or anything. They're just for the promo for these tens. Correct. Got it. So we're going to open these up today and we're going to see which cards are inside. There is a chance to get what, like a, like a really rare card, right? Oh yeah. Each, um, each pack that's in there, they, if you look on the back right here, there are five booster packs per uh, box or 10. Before we open these, I can do some comparisons, but these are promo cards. They are readily available. So they're really don't hold no, any value. This card right here is also a promo card out of another Rebel Clash package. And you can see down here at the bottom, there is a Black Star promo. And that signifies that these cards don't really hold any value, but are usable in the actual TCG game. So as you can see, they have hit points, battle or attacks, they use energies, everything. And these in the set are what they call ultra, ultra rares. Rare. They are a hollow foil rare, but they are not a full art. So, I mean, it gets really convoluted, but they are rares, they are hollow. This is a Zamazenta out of Sword and Shield. This is a Cramorant out of also Sword and Shield, which is a previous set before Rebel Clash. These are more common hollow rares in the set, but we hope to find the full art rares or secret rares. I mean, but you're not guaranteed anything in these packs. You might not even get a hollow at all. These will be what are considered secret rares. If you look right there, the number on the right is the set number, how many cards are in that set, and the number on the left is what that card is in the set. Now, if you see, the number on the left is actually above the number on the right, which makes this a secret rare. This is one of the ones I was talking about. It's a rainbow rare, and this is a gold card. This is also a secret rare. It's above the set number. So these both are considered secret rares. And these are the ones that we're looking for when we open up these tins. So we're just kind of giving you guys an overview on what to expect with inside these tins. Okay, so we're going to go with Zamazenta first. And these are shrink wrapped. So we're just going to get my cute knife. Slice and dice right here. Hopefully not to scratch it. Just get us some close-ups without the shrink wrap on this box. Okay guys, so we've got the shrink wrap off. I'm gonna have Kurt take over and kind of explain to you guys what these kind of tins uh, have inside of them. And he's gonna talk about all the cards and fingers crossed that we pull something really rare. Okay, so usually with these tins, there's not much else in them other than the promo card and the booster packs that the back says it's in them. Some other tins have other things, but these are just this. So get that lid off. The promo card is in its own plastic protection so it doesn't slide around and there's usually a little piece holding these in but you can pop that out and that should allow the card to drop out i absolutely love this card i love my legendary wolves so much my baby we actually have sleeves off to the side at the ready just in case we do pull something good but that also means we're going to sleeve up these promo cards 
as you can see at the bottom, it's got that Black Star promo. So again, these are not of any value really, but they are playable cards in the game. So now we're gonna get into the packs that are in this. Now remember there are five packs per 10, and this right here is the latest release in the Pokemon TCG. This is Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Now, didn't you say that these are all random inside these tins, correct? No, they do tend to be pretty um, consistent in what's oh, okay. in them. So because you you will get different packs from different series inside these tins, correct? Correct. Yeah, correct. That's what but I they are, they were in release with Rebel Clash, so there's going to be the most of Rebel Clash in this. There are two Rebel Clashes, Rebel Clash and Rebel oh, Clash. Oh, sure enough. One Sword and Shield, which is the previous set to this. There's one Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, which this is a few years old, but. It is still a very good set because there is a very good Charizard in this set. Is that the one that you pulled the really good Charizard from? It is of the same art, but a different. This lucky dude right here pulled one of the rarest cards um, as of like the most latest releases of the Pokemon cards, right? This was back in September of 2019. There was a set called Hidden Fates, which was part of the one of the last Sun and Moon sets, which that's what this is from. So yes, I pulled a very rare Charizard out of a set that was called Hidden Fates that was part of the Sun and Moon series, one of the last in that series. And it was at the time a $400 card when I pulled it. Were we freaking out when you pulled it? Cause yes. you just had the packs and he was just, you know, opening them up and he's like, oh, I probably am not gonna get this card. You know, it's really rare. Some of the uh, Pokemon card openers that I watch on YouTube haven't even pulled it yet. And then bam, he pulls it and we like lost it. <laughs> Yes, yes, it was a very intense evening. <laughs> but then there's also, which I've come to find to be one of my more favorite sets as of recently, this is Evolutions. This was out of the XY series, which was, I don't know when it started, but this was the last in that set that came out in November of 2016. So basically this is a reprint with a few extra cards throughout the time frame of Pokemon TCG, but a majority of this is a reprint of the original base set from, I believe, 1998 to 2000, when that really, really rare Charizard was around that I'm sure everyone who's opened Pokemon cards knows. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is these are the packs that we pulled from the Zamazenta tin. And we're gonna set these off to the side and go ahead and open up the Zacian tin just to have them out. And we're gonna open them all at once. So we slice it and we're just gonna open up the shrink wrap here on the Zacian tin. Again, we are gonna open the tin lid. There's Zacian again. Night dog. Night dog. Love Zacian. So Kurt and I actually played Sword and Shield together. He played Shield and I played Sword. So we're, we're a big Pokemon fan household. I, I just personally don't collect the cards, but he does. So again, we're gonna have the Zacian promo in its little shrink. My boy. Or not shrink, but plastic casing. Plastic piece holding it in place off. And is this a card that um, viewers can use if they Yes, if they want? anybody who does play these games, basically each pack plus the tins have a code card where you can basically have a virtual pack of cards on pokemon.com slash TCGO. Cool. And I never use them, so go if you see it. this card and you want to use it, go for it. Here's Sashi. Oh, he looks awesome. Brave Blade. Slice him, Knife Dog. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to put that one in a sleeve. Got to keep that puppy mint. So there's Zashi. Cool. Okay, and again, we have our five packs per 10. And it should be the same five. We got two Rebel Clashes, one Sword and Shield, one Sun, Moon, Burning Shadows, and one Evolution. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little fun thing. He's going to open all of the Pokemon packs that were in the Zamazenta tin, and I'm going to open all the ones that were in the Zacian tin. And we're just going to open them together and see if any of us get lucky. Okay, so we are going to open these packs up together, but Kurt is going to show us a trick on how to open these Pokemon cards, and I'm going to follow him after we watch him open one. What we'll do is we open these from the back. I'm following in the background, you guys. I hope I don't mess this up. Open these from the back. Wait, how yeah. are you doing that? You got to explain to me. <laughs> so I tear, I kind of pull like this. Oh, like a bag of chips. Yes. Maybe. But oh, careful. <laughs> so what I do is I usually tear them down this like this and I will remove the packaging. Now you will I'm see the, the first card that's in there and there's always a code card in these. So this is the code card in this pack. So Kurt is walking me through this because I don't know how to do this. So, so just pull the code card up. Okay. And then now you set that off to the side, flip it over. Uh-huh. So draw one, two, three, mm -hmm. move them to the front. 
three, move them to the front. What this does, and this is the difference between Sun and Moon and, and X and Y and any other pack prior to Sun and Moon is that that puts the rare card on the back, whether it be a hollow or not, that is your rare card. So when you flip it back over, you can start going through. So I'm not expected to have a, a trainer every time on front, right? No, it can, it, it, it can be usually the way these are set up. Usually when you do that, you'll have an uncommon at the front. Oh, okay, so, cool. So now we can just kind of cycle through them yep. one at a time. Okay, there's my trainer. What do you got? Energy. Energy, another oh, trainer man. for me. Ooh, lots of energies and stuff in I here. Got, there's that sand true we all saw before. Oh, yeah. I think I just saw. Oh, I remember these cards. These are like the originals, yes, right? This when is I a, collected this is a Pokemon reprint. cards. And yeah. I believe this, this includes some from the fossil set from the base set and the jungle set. Cool. So they just take the logos out. Yeah, they did. So there's a Weedle. Okay, I'm back. I think, no, I'm not. Not yet, because I haven't hit the hollow, right? Okay. No. And then before the rares in every pack there is a reverse okay so this so is the reverse hollow and, right and, and, but it's not they're not always rares they could be commons and uncommons uh diamond is uncommon star is rare. that's that's correct yep so let me catch up oh my god you. i sound like such a noob but really it's just been a long so time so we both got an electric um oh we did an electric reverse yep. common we sure did and then now we both got non-holographic rares okay so that, a, that that's the whole pack right there so now we're gonna open burning shadows cool and then i know the trick now you just kind of open okay. it like a well so, except it's hard so when watch, you have nails. Watch how it, pull it like that without damaging the cards we're okay hold on Let's see how i do this i kind of put my two fingers right here and pull like that and it oh. opens it up like that so you then you got it open here i'm getting the trick so yeah our code card here you pull it off the same way okay code cards code card. Ooh, so, awesome so we flip them over okay so this is one two three Four, and then you move this to the front. Okay. There's always going to be an energy at the front of these now. So. You're correct. Check it out. I got water energy, and you got what? Fighting. Fighting. Okay, so let's go. We'll just. I'll just go at your momentum here. Oh, I remember. I always ran into a bunch of these all the <laughs> time. They're so weird. Why are they wearing clothes? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Noi bat. Noi bat. <laughs> Shout out to what Max Mofo? Max Mofo Pokemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's for... I don't even know which one you're on. We are terrible at this. <laughs> we are terrible at opening Pokemon cards simultaneously. Okay, I'm at my reverse. So let's get. Okay, oh, so here you? we go. Okay, so mine's a reverse uncommon. So is yours. Okay. And so my, we match on my, this one. My right? rare is. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice one. Uh oh. GX. I think you won this uh, round, baby. Okay, so this is a actual ultra rare full art, and you can tell they're a full art because the picture goes over the lines that would normally say what their name is and it goes into the attacks and everything so this is actually a good pull i've never pulled this card before so oh so it's going to be a yeah. perfect addition to your new to your uh, pokemon card collection Correct. so this is hollow. going to get a sleeve there we go. so now we are at Woo! so kurt's got one hit oh she's got none dang <laughs> so now we're going to be uh, opening up the what the sword and shield packs yes. cool okay and i'm going to try the trick again because you told me exactly how you do it you kind of Hold your two fingers here and you pull a little bit till it kind of comes And sometimes undone. it'll rip just straight down like that. That's, oh, that's nice. And then I always like to open them this way so I can get them out without bending them. You're such a pro. <laughs> I've opened a, probably a few hundred at this point. Yes, you have. Pull the Here's card from card. the back. Code cards. Flip them over, right? Flip them over. Now these are the same, four to the front. So one, two, three, four. You'll have an energy. Let's reveal at the same time. Ooh. Okay, let's so. go. Snap trap. Pokemon Center lady, that's what they call her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seeking. Oh, Vulpix. Now, if we get a Ninetales, I'll scream. It's my favorite Pokemon ever. Yeah, there's a good Ninetales in Rebel Clash. Oh, okay, so it's not this pack. Mm. I got the reverse Ninetales. <gasps> you got a Ninetales! So, Ooh, a Lapras. So she got a hollow Bolton. And oh, I got shoot. A, I love Bolton. And I got a non-holographic Lapras. This so one is really cool. Okay, so this one was your rare and this one's my but rare, this, right? This Ninetales was a reverse rare, so this is a good one. Dude, I love the art on there. Look how happy he looks. <laughs> <laughs> so we will sleeve up this Ninetales and that Bolton. Sleeving that Ninetales. So, Kurt, you're getting some pretty good cards for your collection, although I'm stealing this one for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Any, any Ninetales goes, don't you? 
He's actually on my team on Sword so, and Shield. Okay, so now we're both getting into the last of the packs, which are Rebel Clash. They're both going to be the same sets. Wait, didn't you say there's a, a really good chance to get a Ninetales in this one? There is a Full Art Ninetales. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I freak out when anybody talks about Ninetales. Okay. Sometimes they want to cooperate with you, and sometimes they don't. Yep. Hold on, i got to go off screen for this. <laughs> so, Ooh, i got a Magikarp. We will. Reveal the code card. card. Okay. Flip it over. Okay. One, two, three, four to the front. Your energy. One, two. Three. Bam! Ooh, didn't you get fire last time? I believe so. Ugh, Hanzog. Ugh, Metapod. <laughs> Where are all my good ones? <laughs> back to our front cards when we open packs. Oh, yes, yes, we are. Ooh, a Growlithe. Oh, Vulpix. I love that Vulpix! <laughs> Adorable! Oh, not this son of a bee. I do not okay, like so it. These are our reverses, and they're both rares. Oh, nice! I actually pulled this Happy out of a rare. pack, and not the reverse rare, but the actual holographic in a pack recently. Oh, you did? Okay, so you don't actually have this. I don't have the reverse, reverse rare. I have the regular oh, holo. Okay. And then now our regular rares. I love Luxray. And an Unpheasant. Okay, and I have a Butterfree, so... Well, at least both the reverses were rares out of both those packs. And now we have another Rebel Clash one. Okay, cool. Let's see if this one wants to be... Oh! It's okay. All right! Wants to be cooperative this time. Codes. Get them codes, folks. One, two, three, four to the front. And flip. Fighting and water. Charbug. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. We're like off by one, but the same cards. <laughs> <laughs> the Galar, Mr. Mime, right? Ooh, Scyther. That's just a common weird. Scyther is always one of my favorites. Oh yeah, you love Scyther, the dove. I think I have a figure of this somewhere. Darumaka. Coffee. <laughs> Your reverse, ooh, your reverse ooh, Vulpix. Ooh, yes. So you got a Ninetales and a Vulpix out That's of this. That's nice. And I got a oh, stupid, God. we both get the same no, rare? No, I hate Perserker. Oh, oh the that, worst. That's a dud. Dud, mm, <sighs> gross. It. Sorry, Perserker fans, don't like them. How do we both get the same card? I don't know, in the last pack too. Dang. I mean, what is that? So what do you think? Out of like these two tins, were they good pulls? Were they average pulls? What would you say? Uh, I would say roughly an average pull. Yeah, I didn't feel like anything was like super good. Like we didn't scream about getting anything or freak out. No, no we didn't, but I'm particularly pleased with this one full art that we got. Oh yeah, the Ho-Oh. Yeah, that yes. one is pretty, pretty darn neat. And you did get a regular holographic and then we both did pull two decent reverse rares out of this. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and especially you getting that nine tails. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today. I know this is a little bit unusual for my channel, but I do want to incorporate some more of my uh, Pokemon collections on this channel as well. Not just Sailor Moon, because I do also collect Pokemon, Disney, My Little Pony, and other things too. So I want to try to remember to open a lot of stuff on this channel. So if you haven't already subscribed and you're interested in kind of those unboxings, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on so you guys get aware whenever I post a new video. Uh, special thanks to Kurt for joining us today to kind of guide me along the way of these Pokemon trading card tins because Kurt knows a lot more about the trading card game, especially about the recent stuff than I do. I just basically collect like the tins and anything with my favorite Pokemon on them. So Kurt, thanks so much for joining me for this unboxing of these tins. Uh, thanks for having me, Ochi. We do want to mention you can still buy these tins. They are in print currently. We got ours at Walmart, but you can buy them wherever they sell the Pokemon trading card game. Correct. I would say probably Walmart, Target, and GameStop will probably be your best bets to find these. Thanks again, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt.